Once upon a time, I was a package handler. Not like that. So you probably clicked on this video because you too are looking to be a handler of packages. Well, you made the wrong choice. Yeah, you heard me correctly. I worked at this place called Kledex. No, Mr. Big Scary Corporation lawyer, I said Kledex. My first day at work, I was pretty fucking stoked. I mean, I'm a pretty antisocial person. Hey buddy, do you know the time? No! So I was like, this is great. All I gotta do is move some fucking boxes and I'll get paid money. I scan my little key card. I walk through the door and you'd think I went through the fucking twilight zone and traveled back in time like I'm in a fucking Russian gulag with motherfuckers singing Gregorian chants. Morale is fucking low. Everybody looks like the boss just came in and sneezed in their mouth. I'm a little concerned, but that that's okay. That's okay. It can't possibly be that bad. Boss is like, you're gonna work with Carlos and clear out that trailer. Carlos was in orientation with me. Carlos looks like fucking Jack Black in Nacho Libre, so I know I'm fucked, and I'm gonna be doing the brunt of the work, but it's all good, man. This job, it's it's gonna be easy. We hop up in the trailer, and... Okay, let me just explain some shit here. The way this works is you pick up all the boxes out of the trailer, and you put them on this treadmill, and Lady puts a sticker on it, and fucking transports them throughout the warehouse to where they need to go. Easy, right? No, bitch! There's 800 million boxes in this trailer. In the warehouse, there's no fucking AC. And mind you, this is Florida in the summer. So it's already hot as the devil's dick. Multiply that times a warehouse with no AC. And then you're inside a hot trailer inside the hot warehouse. And you have a recipe for disaster. I've heard stories of people dying of heat stroke at these places. But what I really think happens is they just combust into flames. Oh yeah, and these boxes, the boxes that you people order, it's not like light puss magus stuff. It's a fucking 40 or 50 pound box of goddamn dog food. I've never lifted so many boxes of dog food in my life and they're stacked so sky high. So sometimes you're moving a box and then you're fucking pelted by a 50 pound box from above. Like it's fucking Tom and Jerry and an anvil was just dropped on your head. If you saw my legs after the first day, it looked like someone tried to cripple me with a baseball bat. And mind you, I am an athletic person. I have scored many a touchdown in baseball. Doesn't matter, bitch. This job will break you. On top of that, you basically got these managers that are cracking the whip. This isn't like a go at your own pace type of job. It's my first day. And remember, I told you that lady putting stickers on the boxes. Well, she's a manager and she's right next to the trailer. She was a wrinkly, mean bitch. Let's call her Mildred. Mildred said, if you want to be a package handler, you're going to have to move faster than that. I'm a very competitive person, so them be some fine words. I don't know why I'm like that, but when someone throws down a challenge, it's fucking on. I'm Ash Ketchum in fucking Pokemon where he does his thing where he... He turns his hat backwards, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, this whole time I was trying to match the pace of Carlos to not kill the poor man. But all bets were off after she made a comment like that. So I start fucking moving like I'm the Flash. I'm going so fast, time is slowing down. That could just be me getting loopy from heat exhaustion, but it doesn't matter. I'm flinging fucking boxes at this wrinkly whore. I'm going so fast she can't even fucking scan him and put a sticker on him in time. So we get done with that and I'm fucking spent. I got the cold sweats. I'm seeing like fucking stars, but it's all good. It's all good. I just cleared my fucking trailer before anybody else on my first fucking day. So I didn't know this, but guess what happens if you kick ass and finish unloading your trailer before anyone else? If you thought you would get to sit in the air conditioned snack room and big breasted ladies would bring you a root beer and a coconut, you would be mistaken. For all your hard work and dedication, you get to move on to another trailer and help other people finish unloading it. Fuck! So I finished the day four or five hours of that. No breaks, by the way, no fucking breaks. I entirely sweated out my hair gel. I'm fucking purple. I look like Squidward after he choked on a fork. Carlos, my partner for the day, that, that would be the last time I ever fucking saw him. I went to orientation with that motherfucker. He worked one shift and was like, nah, fuck this. Can't blame me, Carlos. I get home and I go lay in my bed. My girlfriend at the time looks at me and was like, you need to take a cold shower. You look awful. I was like, no, don't fucking touch me. I'm laying in this bed. No, take that cover off. You're way too warm. She starts putting ice bags on me and fucking wet washcloth. And honestly, honestly, 
It could have been bad for me if I didn't cool my body down like that. The moral of the story is it doesn't matter if you're an antisocial <laughs> motherfucker. Anything is better than moving boxes around at Kledex.